Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. In this video, we will go over some examples of word roots and patterns that we've explained in the last two videos. Okay, so hamada. Hamada is the word root for praise. So hamada has the same pattern as fa'ala. Alhamd is praise. So an example from the Quran would be alhamdulillah, which means praise be to Allah. Hamid. Hamid has the same pattern as fa'il. So hamada is fa'ala. And if we add an alif after the first letter, after ha, it's the same as adding a letter after fa. So fa'il is the doer, is the person who does the verb or does the action. And hamid is the one who does the praise. So that is the one who praises. So an example in the Qur'an would be Al-Hamidun, and that's the plural of Al-Hamid, which means the praisers of Allah. And that is in Surah At-Tawbah, Ayah number 112. Mahmud, Mahmud is that which is praised. So Mahmud is similar to Maf'ul, so Hamada is like Fa'ala. And if we add a Mimu the Fatha before the Ha, and a Waw after the Mim, after the second letter, that would be similar to adding a mim with a fatha before the fa of maf'oon and a wow after the ayn. So mahmud is, has the same pattern as maf'oon and that would mean the person who is praised, the person who the verb is done to, so that which is praised. So here an example would be maqaman mahmuda and that is a praised station, and that's in ayah number 79 of Surah Al-Isra. And then Muhammad وسلم, means the praiseworthy. Okay, another example is Sa'ala. Sa'ala is the word root for to ask, and that has the same pattern as Fa'ala. So Sa'ala is the past tense verb for a male, and that means he asked. And Sa'il so now forget that the Hamza here is written on a nabra or a kursi because it's still a Hamza. So sa'il has the same pattern as fa'il. That means the person who does the verb. So the person who does the asking would be one who asks. And an example for those two words, sa'ala and sa'il, is the first ayah of Surah Al-Ma'arij. And it starts with sa'ala sa'il, which means a supplicant ask. Mas'ul, that has the same pattern as maf'ul. That is someone who the verb is being done to, so one who is asked, which also means one who is held accountable. And an example is, inna al-ahda kana mas'ula. And the translation is, indeed, the commitment is ever that about which one will be questioned, which means that everyone will be asked and held accountable about the commitments that they've made. So, so far we've talked about three main patterns, fa'ala, fa'il, and maf'ul. So fa'ala is the past tense of the verb for a male, and it means he did, and that's a verb. Fa'il is the person who does the action, and that's the doer or the subject, and that's a noun. Maf'ul is something that is being done, and that's the object, and it's a noun. And so the next question is going to be, what about other patterns in the Qur'an? How do we learn them? And then do all words follow a pattern? What about words that are only made up of two letters? How about other word roots? How do we learn all of these word roots? So to answer the first two questions, we need to go over some grammar first, which I will do in the next videos, inshallah. To answer the third question, we need to create some frequency lists, which I highly recommend that you start doing on your own. I have a playlist called Nur al-Qur'an, where I go over the word roots, word for word, starting from Surah al-Baqarah. And if you follow along this playlist, you should be able to start creating your own list of word roots that will help you memorize and learn the most important word roots that make up most of the words in the Qur'an.